Instagram and Facebook will charge for paid verification. Hello! Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to follow us and like our content. Now, let's see what's new from Meta for us. Instagram and Facebook users will now be able to pay for a blue tick verification, parent company Meta has announced. Meta Verified will cost $11.99, £9.96 per month on the web, or $14.99 for iPhone users. It will be available in Australia and New Zealand this week. Mark Zuckerberg, chief executive of Meta, said the change will improve the security and authenticity of social media apps. The change comes after Twitter owner Elon Musk rolled out the premium Twitter Blue subscription in November 2022. Meta's paid subscription service is not yet available for businesses, but anyone can pay for verification. Badges or blue ticks have been used as verification tools for high-profile accounts to indicate their authenticity. The subscription would give paying users a blue badge, greater visibility of their posts, protection from spoofers and easier access to customer service, Meta said in a post on its website. The company told the BBC that the change would not affect previously verified accounts, but noted that there would be an increase in visibility for some smaller users who become verified thanks to the paid feature. Allowing paying users to access a blue tick has already caused problems for other social media platforms. Twitter's pay-for-verification feature was discontinued last November when people started impersonating big brands and celebrities by paying for the badge. Meta said Instagram and Facebook usernames will have to match a government-provided ID to receive verification, and users will have to have a profile picture that includes their face. Other sites like Reddit, YouTube and Discord also use subscription-based models. Meta hasn't yet specified when the feature will roll out in other countries, though Zuckerberg said in a blog post that it would be soon. In November, the company announced the loss of 11,000 jobs as a result of overinvestment during the COVID-19 pandemic. At the time, Zuckerberg said he had predicted an increase in Meta's growth based on the increase it had during the pandemic, but that ended up not happening. Many people predicted this would be a permanent acceleration, he wrote, so did I, so I made the decision to significantly increase our investments. Instead, he said the macroeconomic downturn and increased competition had caused revenue to be much lower than expected. I got it wrong and I take responsibility for it, he said at the time. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, and while many in the tech sector were quick to criticize Elon Musk for introducing a paid tier on the social network Twitter, it turns out his peers were watching closely. Times are tough for big tech, but they are also tough for big tech's customers, of course, that's you and me. Elon Musk's experiment proved that people are still willing to pay for an improved experience. It's often said of huge free digital platforms like Facebook, Instagram and TikTok that if you're not paying for the product, you are the product. This means that every drop of data these companies collect about you is being used to sell you stuff in the form of ads. It's a multi-billion dollar idea and has made many companies very, very rich. But people are waking up to it. Is subscription the alternative, and if so, how much are consumers willing to pay? It seems that first Musk and now Zuckerberg are determined to find out. Well folks, those were the poor updates for today, we'll be back soon with more news. See you there!